So the example problem we'll be solving today is example 8.1 from lecture 8. It asks, a woman walks along a 3.4 kilometer path in 42 minutes and her pedometer records 2,430 steps taken with her right foot during this time. What is her average stride length in meters and her average walking speed in meters per second? Okay, so we'll start by defining what a stride is. And a stride is when the heel of one foot comes in contact with the ground until the heel of that same foot comes in contact with the ground again. And since this pedometer is only reading the steps with the right foot, each step that she has recorded is equivalent to a stride. So the total of 2,430 steps is actually 2,430 strides for this problem. Okay, so since we are giving that she uh, walks a total distance of 3.4 kilometers and takes a total amount of 2,430 steps with her right foot, which is actually strides, we could think of it as of now, like we discussed earlier. So first, what we're going to do is convert the 3.4 kilometers to meters, and to do that, there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer, so you multiply 3.4 kilometers times 1,000 meters, and you get a total of 3,400 meters she traveled. The next step would be to take the 3,400 meters and divide this by the strides taken, which are 2,430. And this gives us the stride length for this woman, which is 1.4 meters. Okay, so next, since the units for this problem ask for speed in meters per second, and since we already had the kilometers converted to meters, our next step is to convert the 42 minutes that it takes her to travel this distance to seconds. So since there are 60 seconds in a minute, and she walked for 42 minutes, we multiplied 42 minutes by 60 seconds and got a total of 2,520 seconds. So next, to find the average speed for this woman walking, we divided 3,400 meters by 2,520 seconds to get a total of 1.35 meters per second for her average speed. So the first key point we went over today was defining stride as the two consecutive heel touches with the same foot. Once you know what the stride is, you can use this to find the stride length given the distance traveled and the number of strides taken by a particular individual. And finally, the average speed was found for this woman given the distance and the total time that she was traveling.